What do you think happens to people when they die? Do you think they're set free? Yeah, I do. I've been thinking about your dad more. I never told you about your dad because it was complicated. So you hate me for that? I can never hate you for anything. I love you too much. Hi, Dr. Resnick. That explains the headaches. You know that this key is for the box that's on my dresser. If anything happens to me, why not just tell her? What would I say? I fell in love with a married man, and I never told him about you because I didn't want to wreck his marriage. I might totally screwed up my daughter. Stones on the water were all I know what's up. My parents were in a car accident when I was your age. I got put in a foster home. It's okay. Don't worry. Life isn't always fair. That's why we have to make every moment count. Every single one. He gives me the creeps. He's so cool. Is he your best friend? I only have one best friend. My mom. Oh, and then you. Kids can get into trouble with too much freedom. I trust my daughter. Is he dead? You were right. Hey, we're gonna need to talk to the both of you. I hope you're happier now. He's only 33. I'll write you poems and talk to you every day. I just wondered if you're okay, Daisy. Things okay. Here's to my amazing daughter. Guys, so excited to have Sterling Jarens here to talk about uh, Daisy Winters. What a beautiful trailer. So tell me when you uh, first saw this role, what you thought about it. Um, well, I first saw the role, I did like a self-tape and we sent it in and um, it was actually three years before we started filming. It took oh, wow. a while. Wow, so it's a little bit of a process. Yeah, it's been a, like a wild process. Um, and the director sort of just hooked me onto it. I love the role. I love the film. It was just sort of like her baby. I loved it so much. What's your uh, self-tape process? Are you home? Are you in a hotel? When did you do that? Oh, yeah. We were at home. And um, I don't know. I didn't really think much about it at first. And then right now I'm thinking about it. Like that self-tape started the whole thing. Mm. I mean, were they powerful scenes? Were they difficult scenes? Who were you acting against? Um, yeah, there were definitely some, like, difficult scenes. There was a lot of emotional scenes with the film. I think, like, all the cast and crew just, like, I was working for eight weeks, five days a week. Um, so it was all really hard, but everyone was family there, and so everyone sort of got me through it. And tell me when you first met uh, Beth, Beth Lemure, the director. Yeah, um, I met her, I think it was at a diner. It was, like a diner right near my apartment. And I met her like at 6 p.m. I just came home from dance and it was so funny. And we were talking and I just like, she had such a big personality and we were just talking, getting to know each other. Mm. Yeah, she's, she was so much fun to talk to. Would she give you as far as a character, had she talked to people who had sort of been affected by these issues before or was it just all on the page? Um, well, she gave everyone like, like their own sort of independence within the film. Like if I felt like I wanted to change something or if Brooke did or Carrie, anyone that was in the film wanted to change something up, they could. Everyone, it wasn't just her film, it was everyone's film. And what was it like meeting Brooke, uh, playing, you know, having her play your mother? It was amazing. It was Brooke Shields for everybody who doesn't yeah. know exactly, yeah. Um, it was such an amazing like opportunity for me. What, what was she like on set? She was so nice. And she was like, um, we were like best friends. <laughs> um, it was so much fun to be working with her and I got to learn from her too. I mean, the, the situations, the, the, uh, what the script's dealing with is really powerful issues. I mean, is, there, is that something you guys felt on the set? Is that something that Beth talked about? Obviously, is something that um, was uh, you know, really uh, pressing on her. Yeah, we didn't talk about it too much, but it was definitely like the big purpose of the film is to like touch these people that like say they watch the film and they know what Daisy is going through in the film. Yeah. Can you explain a little bit about what Daisy's going through? Um, yeah, so Daisy sort of has to, she's like 
she has to process the fact that her mom is ill. And it's actually, it's, it was such a fun character to play. And within the film, she's sort of like finding herself with her friends and her mom and, um, fr- and like her mom's friends. Mm-hmm. All these characters. Yeah, and there's a, there's a lot of talk about uh, suicide and suicide awareness, and she's very mm-hmm. aware of it. I mean, is yeah. that something that you guys discussed? Yeah, definitely. It was a big topic. All of these topics were things like that went into the film. Mm. There was a lot of like um, different issues. Mm. Did you, how did you guys get along on the set? Was it did it feel like you guys were making a movie about this sort of p- powerful uh, subject, or do you guys get to let loose a little bit? Oh, it was. Everything was sort of mixed. Everyone was family on set. Like, nobody had, like, tense moments. Um, Definitely, if someone was having a bad day, there would be someone else to cheer them up. Um, It was a very, like, fun set to work on. It wasn't very, like, down and heavy. It was like shooting in Savannah, Georgia. Oh, it was so hot. I remember we had to, there was, like, it was one of the hottest, like, it was like over 100 degrees. And we had to pretend that it was winter. And so. You guys were wearing winter coats. We were and wearing like winter coats. And I was like, oh my God, this is terrible. And I was sweating so much. And we would, um, it was me and um, Nick, mm-hmm. who plays one of my friends. And we would run into the, um, one of the houses to get into the AC right away, right when they called cut. Did they have somebody there fanning you while you're doing oh, this? Oh, yeah, thing? definitely. We got like all those fans. Spray you down, hose you down exactly. with water. I love it. You have some uh, fun scenes as well. You know, you're biking around a little bit. You get to go on a motorcycle. I mean, what was the, what was the most fun scene for you? Um... I don't know. I had, like, all of the scenes were fun. I liked the scenes where it was, like, a lot of characters in the scene. There was one scene where I was with um, Kyle, who plays Josh, and we were up on the tree, and we were just talking, and then Brooke comes in with Nick, and it was just sort of, like, a fun scene because it was so, like, common, like, friends talking to friends. And what did you sort of align with, Daisy? I mean, in what ways were you similar? In what ways were you different, would you say? Um... Well, I mean, everyone has, like, a, a complex personality, so I'd say I had to go to, like, different parts of my personality mm. as a person. So I don't think I relate to her exactly, but I mean, like, I'm adventurous, I want to say. Um, and, like, I had to, like, act a little stubborn, too. So it was, mm. it was a different role. Did you get to sort of have any fun in Georgia, too? Did you guys do any of the... It's supposed to be a haunted... Ha- hotels all over the place. It's supposed to be a very haunted city, right? You guys oh do any tours? God. Yeah, I get scared about a lot of that stuff really easily, so I didn't do any of that stuff. But, like, my family drove down, and they all went there. We would go to, like, um, like sh- little shops near, like, rivers and stuff. So you still get scared after being in the Conjuring movies, is what you're saying? Oh, death! Oh my God, that was. That so hasn't scary. taught you to not be scared. No, you're all more scared. You'd say that's that. I had nightmares for like a month. Um, what was it like to see the movie in its full sort of form after after the whole process? Um, it was sort of like breathtaking. I think like you never really think about like everything pieced together, how it's gonna actually look. Um, so it was really amazing to me. Yeah. And obviously, you know, unfortunately we lost Beth during this process. Yeah. I mean, what was it like hearing that news and, and, you know, continuing the movie and talking about the movie after? Um, well, like I said, this film was like her baby. And I think that she would be really proud of all of us that we got to this point and we got to take it out and show it to the world. Mm. So it was so, so upsetting to me. It was one of the saddest moments of my life when I heard that, but I think we just have to make her proud every day. Mm-hmm. And continue the awareness that this movie sort of discusses. Definitely. You know, I mean, I think it's a, it's a very serious issue now, mm-hmm. you know, suicide and, and uh, people, you know, speaking out when they're feeling depressed. Um, have you shown the movie and have people come up to you? Have guys been talking about sort of their own thoughts around the subject? Um, I haven't really gotten to talk to people about like the issues that it brings up, but it definitely is very important to me. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure it'll come around a little bit more yeah. once the movie actually comes out, you <laughs> right. know. Um, you're not uh, shy of uh, tough subjects as a young person. I mean, I feel like Divorce is another th- show that you're involved with yeah. on HBO. I mean, that's a, 
very serious issues there too. I mm-hmm. mean, what's that show like? Um, that show is so much fun. Sarah Jessica Parker's Thomas Tatum Church, they're so funny on set. We would like be filming a scene and we just could not stop laughing. So Sarah Jessica Parker, were you familiar with her work before you started working with her? Um, I haven't worked with her before, but like she's so nice and so easy to talk to. Did you watch Sex in the City? Were you aware of that uh, that character? <laughs> I actually didn't, but like my mom did and my sister did. A little so. too old for you, I guess. Yeah. What saying. Yeah. What's Thomas Hayden Church like? I mean, he's such a fantastic. Doctor. Oh, he's so nice and so funny. He would crack us up all the time throwing jokes out there and like he would like he would put in a random improvise and me and um my co-star charlie who plays my older brother we would like start looking at each other like trying not to laugh (laughs) what's a joke that thomas might throw out there um i don't know if i remember any but there was this one scene where we were sitting at the um table and sarah and thomas were like supposed to be mad at each other and he kept on like throwing these like terrible looks at each other being like I gotta go like purge all of this and it it was like a birthday party and it was so funny that's amazing I mean now the second season is gonna be coming out and everything like that are you excited about that what can people expect I'm so excited about that um let's see I I'm in it um for the first few episodes and it's so much fun I think Everyone will really enjoy the next season. I think it comes out in, in January. Yeah. yeah. It just got announced, right? Yeah, yeah, it did. Are any of your friends watching these shows? I mean, these are, you know, something like HBO's Divorce might not be the, the kids' favorite show, you know? Yeah, I definitely, I have teachers come up to me in school, and they're like, oh, I just saw The Divorce on TV, and I'm like, oh, that's, that's great. <laughs> um, a lot of my friends, sometimes they'll see something like The Conjuring or something, but I don't know, one of my friends came to see The premiere with me, mm. so that was fun. What's it like, do you go with your friends to go see like The Conjuring in the theaters? I actually have never seen the full film. You've I'm never too, seen The Conjuring? I'm too scared to see it. Um, <laughs> I've seen previews and I've seen some of my You've scenes. seen previews. <laughs> but I'm too scared to watch the whole entire film. It's too scary for me. Did it feel that scary when you were filming it? Yeah. No, like I'm... I get scared so easily. Mm-hmm. Like, you say boo to me and I'll fall down. <laughs> no. So how'd you get cast for that? I mean, was that what they were looking for? Maybe they were like, oh, this girl's really scared. We can really scare her. <laughs> um, I, don't, I don't really remember personally, but um, definitely when we were like filming the scenes and someone would be like, good job, good job, Sterling. I'd be like, I'm not acting. I'm <laughs> terrified. <laughs> Um, well, I mean, people have seen the first one, so it's not a yeah. spoiler, but what's, like, the scariest scene to film in that first movie, would you say? Off the top of my head, um, when I get locked in the room with Annabelle and, like, the demon or whatever, um, <laughs> I turned around, I was like, oh, my God. Because in all the other scenes that we filmed, I actually never saw the doll mm. because I've closed my eyes. <laughs> I didn't actually look Never at it. Never even seen the doll. No. So this is the first time. So when I turned around, I was like, oh, my God, no, 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 no. So I wanted to get out of there right away. <laughs> um, would you say that was scarier than filming World War Z? Yeah, definitely. Okay, World War Z. I mean, was it like having uh, Brad Pitt as your dad? That's not so bad. I was seven. Um, so I don't remember much, but I remember... I feel like, like you would commit Brad Pitt to memory. I feel like oh, if I was seven, was, and I would remember. I remember him being so funny and so nice. Um, that film was, like, such an amazing opportunity for me. Yeah. What did they do as far as the, the, the creatures that were coming after you? Were they acting that out? Was that, you know, how was it, like, filming that? It was, like, half and half. Some of it was, like, put in later in editing, and half of them were, like, actual people. Mm. So I remember there was this one scene where, like, we had to, like, hop in a helicopter and there was, like, this guy and they were all, like, running off the building. Mm. So we got to, like, talk to them and they're all, like, stunt people, like, with this crazy makeup on, like, eight hours of makeup. Mm. And they run off this building and just, like, jump onto a mat. As far as, like, uh, movie fathers, you've had a pretty good run. You've had yeah. the Owen Wilson, you know, and No Escape. I mean, what was that, fil- what was that filming like? Um, that was actually really fun. We were, we were in Thailand for that, and that was, like, crazy. And, um, two weeks before we started filming, there was, um, like, we got to go to this elephant nature park, and we all got to bond. It was so much fun. 
why don't you rank your Hollywood fathers, you know, from best to worst right now? Oh, I Shout couldn't. Out. No, you couldn't? I okay. couldn't. Who's another great one, though? You know, I feel like you've been in this business for so long, for as young as you are. Um, well, Michael Douglas played my grandfather in And So It Goes, and that was so That's much That's a fun. great grandfather. Yeah, that film, I'd done a lot of um, scary films, and so that was, like, one of my first, like, fun films that I did, and that was, like, crazy. Yeah. What was it like, uh, I mean, filming in Thailand? Did you get to experience any of that culture? Did you get to experience in country? Oh, yeah, definitely. We went to, like, um, different places, like, all over. And um, so we got to see, like, these elephants, and they had, like, this, I think it was on Sunday nights or something, and they would have, like, all of these, like, little, like, pieces outside, and you would walk outside, and there would all be, like, these tents, and they would be, like, selling stuff. It was crazy. Was uh, Owen Wilson as funny on set as he is in the films, or was he? Yeah, yeah. What yeah, was, he was, was he like? so nice. Um, he was definitely like very helpful for everything that we were doing. Who do you say in your uh, movie parents fits closest to your uh, your real parents? I don't know. Actually, I haven't really thought about that. Which one. ones do they like the best? My parents? I don't know. I haven't talked about that either. It's so hard to, like, pick someone out because they're all so amazing. I feel like you've been acting for so long that your Wikipedia page still has it. You're three feet. Yeah, three feet it tall, has right? that I'm three feet We should change tall. that. Wikipedia, you're pretty great, <laughs> but come on. She's not three foot five. I've had when my friends up, go like... up to it and try to fix it, and then the next day it's fixed back to three foot five, and I'm like, okay. Come on, come on, guys. <laughs> Um, I guess we have some questions in the audience. So we're gonna yeah, throw out sure. there. yeah. Hello. Hi. So I wanted to know, since the film deals with a lot of dark issues, what do you think young people will take away from watching the film? Um, well, I thought that like a lot of people take away that like people people do notice when you're having a hard time, and people will help you. You just sort of have to speak out about whatever it is that you're feeling. Great answer. Next question. Hi. Oh, um, hi. <laughs> uh, so I'm just wondering, you know, you've uh, done such a wide variety of work. Um, what are your favorite kind of actors you look to for inspiration? Hmm. I think it depends on the film. But when I'm filming, I definitely look at, like, co-stars. So when I'm, like, working with them or if they have a scene and I'm not in it, I'll definitely watch them and I'll take away from them. What have you picked up, maybe from Sarah Jessica Parker or some of the other uh, people you've acted with? Brooke Shields, maybe? Yeah, a big, like, thing that I take away from a lot of actors is, like, you take your heart with you. Mm -hmm. So, like, you take your heart into your role, you take your heart into whatever you're saying, even if it's, like, a funny film or, like, a really depressing scene. Whatever it is, you take your heart with you. Yeah, that's great advice. Okay, another question. Hi. Uh, so for someone who said you don't like scary movies, it seems like that's your top genre. Are yes. There, are there other genres you'd really like to explore in the future? Um, comedy has been like one of the new ones with divorce. So I'm just sort of starting off on that. I've done a few dramas, so I don't know. I'm What's your favorite comedy right now or favorite uh, comedic actress? <sighs> um... I don't know. I watch um, Modern Family a lot, so all the all the actors and actresses on Modern Family. <laughs> well, you have plenty of time to get to that. Um, mm -hmm. Well, congratulations on this film and congratulations on Divorce. Um, Daisy Winters that comes out in theaters uh, December first, right? Yeah, December first. Nice. And then Divorce on HBO. Another yeah. round of applause for Sterling Jarens, guys. 